Hey everybody, it's Ross Newton from crowdper.com and today we're gonna start our crowdper hacks video tutorial and blog series. And what this is, is quick little tips and tricks and hacks that you wouldn't otherwise know that either our team has discovered or our users have reported to us. Uh, today is the very first one and it requires a little bit of knowledge for, about CrowdPer to begin with. So if you're new to CrowdPer, check out our quick five minute tutorials that you'll see on our channel. Um, if you're a little bit familiar, then this will be great for you. Our first hack, we think it's a really good one, is embedding YouTube videos in CrowdPer in the mobile view, pre-recorded YouTube videos. So if you wanna embed an intro or a, a video to show during the intermission from a sponsor or a celebrity guest or an outro video about how to find more information on our fundraiser or our sponsor or even pre-record a whole entire narration of your trivia game and have that going in the mobile view, you can do all that. And it, you do that through our streaming um, interface. It can act that, that accepts YouTube live video streams. You can also put in YouTube videos. So let's show you how to do that. Okay, so I'm logged into app.crowdpro.com. Let's just create a quick trivia game here. Uh, we're just gonna start from scratch just to show you how easy it is. And let's just do current events here. You can pick any trivia game, it doesn't really matter. I'm just uh, picking one here, just say next, host controlled, rock and roll, the default mode. So now we're on our dashboard. And let's go ahead and just bring up a mobile view here. And remember, when I'm gonna go ahead and sign in here as Ross there. And let's go over to the live streaming tab. So normally what this feature is for is for embedding a YouTube live stream, a Twitch stream, or even a Zoom meeting, which you can do through YouTube uh, and embedding that on the mobile view. So the idea behind this feature was like before we always had a, it was sort of a dual device um, experience with CrowdPer where you had to watch the, the, the host or the virtual host in Zoom on your laptop screen or, or your iPad screen and then have your mobile phone in your hand playing. So the idea behind the streaming feature was putting that host right on the mobile view and being, being able to have them narrate the game and kind of move out in and out of the way, sort of like HQ trivia. So if you wanna learn about embedding a live stream and actually doing it that way, you can go out to our help center and we have a whole article about that and everything. So what we're doing is showing you how to put pre-recorded videos on demand, as many as you want, or, or one the whole way through of a host, uh, right, right on the mobile view for a pre-recorded videos that you've uploaded to YouTube. So I'll show you how to do like an intro video, for example, and these are only going to show up on the mobile view here. They don't show up on the projector view because the idea was if you were having a live stream in your, in your, in your trivia game, you wouldn't need the projector view. Everything would be on a single device. So it wouldn't make sense to be having the video going on the projector view and also having it on your mobile view. So videos only show up on the mobile view, which is still great for virtual events because it can just be the whole experience can be on the mobile view but even at live in-person events as the narrator takes a break or the trivia host at the bar goes and has an order of chicken wings he could play a video on the phone or you know during the intermission or something for people to watch uh, you know as they sit there with their phone so there's a lot of there's a lot of flexibility here so we'll go to embed live stream and click on YouTube live and so we're not gonna put a YouTube live. What I've went and done is under the crowd per um, YouTube channel, I've got a couple videos out there and the links to these are gonna be in the description of this tutorial video. They're unlisted because uh, I don't want people searching for them and everything, but they're there for you to practice with. So I've pre-recorded a couple, an intro video, an outro video, and we'll use the crowd per um, company video as our sort of intermission video. So what you would do is just copy the URL of uh, your, your intro video that you wanna use. And we'll go over to back to CrowdPers dashboard and we'll just paste this in here and say search. And when you click on add stream, that's going to dynamically add this intro video to your mobile view and start playing it. So you do, you do wanna kinda wait to click add stream until you're ready for this. Um, because everybody, what, what's gonna happen is everybody's gonna sign in and once they're ready to go, if you wanted an intro video, you would do it like this. It unfortunately doesn't work like as each person signs in kind of at their own time. It needs to happen for everybody at the same time. So this is crowd per hacks, not features. So this is just, these, the idea behind this is it's a little bit of extra functionality and some cool stuff that you probably didn't know about. So if I click on add stream, 
that's going to instantly add it over here. And we can click on show live stream to bring it up. And on the mobile view, you always have to unmute videos. And when I do that, you'll see this intro $25,000 today. And it's we've got a whole series of grab bags for the runners up. And we're gonna have a lot of fun today. We're gonna do some virtual trivia, or maybe it's time to do some. So you can also use the maximize uh, window uh, layout uh, button here to go further in on, on your host if you want to. And you can go back to full width. You can bring this video in and out. Um, you do have to click the mute button on the mobile view. That's a requirement of all mobile browsers. Um, so people often ask, why do I always, why do players always have to unmute the, the YouTube videos on questions and, and on live stream? It's just a requirement of all browsers. They, they, they made it like illegal to embed a, a video or a stream that auto plays and has audio at the same time. So the co the, the developers had to pick, uh, we at Crapper had to pick like, are we, do we auto play the video? Uh, and have the audio off or do we make you click to play the video each time and in this case they it, we auto play and then you can um, turn on the audio in the future if you guys think that it's better to kind of load the video and then have people click the intro at their convenience that's definitely a feature that we can add so let us know in the comments if that would be good for you so anyway the the video played and I disabled it but you could like I said before you can dynamically turn it back on and it just starts playing again for every Today single I can user see you've got and they can see in. this intro video uh, before we get demand. started here in just a few minutes, let's talk about the prizes. We're giving away $25,000 okay, so today. Um, and it we were done with our intro video, and I'm going to disable that. And let's go ahead and start our trivia game. And we'll answer a couple questions here. So, you know, we had our intro video. We're going to answer these questions. They're not really important what they are or for, for this demo. So we'll go ahead and go to the next question. Question two. And let's say we get to question five and it's time for an intermission video. So while those questions were going on, um, if, if you're in fully automatic mode or you can have a second dashboard open, you can go and just grab, you can delete the previous uh, YouTube video that you had there and click this again and paste in the second video that you wanna show, which is, which is our case, is sort of like an intermission um, video. And we can press search and we can add that and that's going to dynamically play on all devices. A cost-effective cloud-based audience engagement platform you can use right now for free. And so this is just, you know, a crowd per video that we threw in there, but you could, this could be any sponsor video or any kind of corporate video that you want to add at intermission. And you could do this as many times as you want. You can turn them off when they're done. Just click disable. You can even throw them up to the upper left-hand corner. So what's kind of cool about that is if you have pre a pre-recorded host going through the questions, you can actually have that run the whole time. And then watch this, as the video is playing, you can go to the next question, go back. So you can literally drive the game off of what that pre-recorded host is doing. And some, some of our users like that because doing a live stream is a bit too complicated and there's a lot of moving parts. So if you just get into the studio, pre-record your game, you could have that going and have a host there right on the mobile view and never have to worry about, again, having two screens and the, the, the projector view and on, on a desktop and, and all that. It's all right there on the mobile view. So let's say we wanna turn off that, that intermission video and we're gonna play a few more questions here. And we do show live answers, show correct answer. And now let's stop this game, we're all finished. And there we go, I actually didn't answer a single question right, so I got zero points. But now we wanna do sort of an outro video there. Again, I, I, you can kind of do this in the background um, in a second uh, experience dashboard. Uh, but if I just get rid of that, uh, the intermission video, click on YouTube, click paste here, then, and click add stream. And there our outro video is playing. And cool things. Now that that's over with, I want to talk about our sponsors really quickly and tell you how you can learn more about the fundraiser that we're doing or about the company that paid a lot of money to have a sponsorship spot here at the end or about how doing your own live interactive trivia game. You just go to crowdper.com and we have trivia, polls, bingo games, social walls, lots of cool stuff for you. Just wanted to say thanks again for joining us and we will see you next Tuesday at nine o'clock for amazing prize trivia. See you then. Okay, so that's it, and our game's finished, and you could maybe do a next round to a, you know, to a website or something like that, or to, to your like, you know, your trivia, your trivia page or something. Um, 
Ah, so, so I'm logged in as a basic plan. So anyway, that's our first crowd per hack uh, on, and our first topic is a good one, embedding YouTube videos pre-recorded right into the mobile view. You may have not even know you could do that. It was uh, typically used for live streams from YouTube, but it works with any old URL. You can play a music video, throw a music video on there during the break, throw a fun video. It just has to be uploaded to YouTube. That's the only requirement. Um, and let us know if clicking to play it might work better as users log in. Maybe they log in and they see that the, the YouTube video there and they would then have to click it like for an intro video. That would be a really good, um, it wouldn't make sense for live streams because they're live. That's why we don't have that. We would want it to autoplay for a stream, but for a YouTube video, we might add that setting there. But thanks so much and we'll see you in a couple weeks for our next crowd per hack.